Initially, uh, you know, when I was younger, I did not think about being a judge. In fact, I initially wanted to be a social worker, and then um, I had a cousin who uh, actually was in law school at the time, and I started talking with him about what he was doing and what he was learning, and, and I found it fascinating. And it, it quickly became apparent to me uh, that the law is the principal vehicle that we have in America for vindicating people's rights and for changing what it is you don't like or for maintaining, for maintaining what it is you do like. And that if you were going to affect change and, 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 and help people with their most serious problems, and I think that is a personality trait that I think you see in a lot of lawyers and judges who who go into this field uh, of wanting to, to represent clients and help people resolve uh, the most serious matters that they're dealing with. And there's a piece of that in social work, but you don't have that dynamic of actually being able to fundamentally uh, change the law and change people's reality. And the law is that, was that vehicle for me. And, and so I really began to resonate with that. Uh, and again, it all started just from having some conversations with a, a cousin who happened to be in law school. Um, you know, the appellate piece of it for me, I, I've told many people this, you wouldn't like what I do and what appellate judges do if you don't seriously like to write. I think you have to like to write to be a lawyer, period, because that is our bread and butter. That is, that is a, a skill set you have to have. Um, in addition to the sort of oral advocacy skills, but writing is probably more key um, because a lot of what I do is writing, but I love to write. And uh, I love wrestling with complex problems. And, and that's our role in Supreme Court is to, to resolve the most complex constitutional, criminal, and civil matters that come before the state. Um, and I enjoy that analytical process. And so if you don't like that kind of intellectual wrestling um, and the ambiguity that is often there, um, you, you wouldn't like you know, what, uh, what we do. And I read a lot. The justices, we spend a lot of our time reading. We read thousands of pages, sometimes a week. And so if you're not one that loves to read and loves to dig in, you wouldn't want to be an appellate judge.